Right now, though, we want to talk about something that could be a little bit disruptive. Uh, Apparently, some labor issues going on at uh, the X. And we want to speak with uh, someone who can uh, tell me a little bit about this. Uh, Joining me now is uh, Justin uh, uh, Anthonius uh, of uh, the local uh, 54 of the uh, IATSE. Wow, Justin, that is a complicated an acronym there. <laughs> what you're, for Local 54, what guy? What are you guys representing? So, so, sorry, first of all, thanks for having me. Oh, my uh, pleasure. Thanks for coming uh, on. It's, first of all, it's uh, Local 58. 58, and good. IATSE is the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees. Obviously, it's easier for us to say IATSE every single time. Yeah, I bet. Um, but what we represent, we represent the workers uh, across the city of Toronto, but also at X Place, uh, who do... Uh, the lighting, who do the sound, who do the audiovisual work uh, on live events in you know theaters, live performance, uh, and stuff like that. Look, 58 is about to celebrate our 120th anniversary in the city of Toronto. Yeah, so I, mean, I, I think literally then, I mean, I'm not saying this dismissively, you're the guys behind the scenes, literally. That's, that's exactly, that is actually our slogan. <laughs> okay, well that works for me then. Uh, what kind of work do you guys do at, at Exhibition Place? Because I'm see, I'm reading these articles now, and I've seen some press releases flying around. Justin talking about a possible labor disputes at the X in the context of, of the Exhibition Place. What kind of work do you guys do there? So, if you want to talk about uh, the events down there, so if you're coming down to see an event at the CNE, let's say uh, the CNE will you'll come see a concert at the Band Shell, and so there will be. Uh, local 58 technicians running all the sound equipment, running all the lighting equipment, running all the video equipment, doing all the band changeovers from one to another. As well, we would be doing the same thing on all the other stages around the city, uh, around exhibition. Plus, we would be, you know, in there doing the super dogs and all that stuff. As well, uh, you know, Local 58 also provides the in-booth, uh, in-game uh, work for at BMO Field and the Coca-Cola Coliseum, also known as the Rico Coliseum. So that's the type of work that Local 58 performs on the grounds uh, year-round. When we talk about the labor disruption, what are or the possible labor disruption, I guess, t- tell me, Justin, what are some of the issues that are actually uh, contentious here? The main issue that we've told, and we told them from day one that was what was an issue for us, was the fact that they want to... Uh, take away our jobs. They want to be able to contract our work to the lowest bidder, and uh, that's something that Local 58 can't stand for. We've had a relationship at the exhibition grounds for decades, uh, and we don't want to have other people doing our work. It's been, like I said, that's been our work for decades. When we talk about what the, the what are you hearing, though, from management, I guess, because obviously the negotiations aren't going well, which is why I'm getting these press releases in my inbox now. What are you hearing back from them? Well, basically what we're hearing back is that they need to see us move on our jurisdiction on the grounds. Uh, that is the biggest thing that they're saying to move. And listen, uh, they asked us to not uh, strike before the CNE and we said that we would think about not striking, but we're not going to guarantee them that they wouldn't. So they took this uh, avenue of locking us out. We made the last proposal at the bargaining table, and then they walked out. So, you know, we're still willing to talk, but it seems that the city has had a, a plan since the beginning. What do you think would actually happen here? Are, are we? I, mean, I don't mean to make this all about me, 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 but... Most Torontonians, I think, Justin, when they think about the CNE, they're thinking specifically about the X next month here. Would any labor dispute possibly impact that? I think it would. It could very well possibly impact that. I mean, I'm sure the city is, I mean, they've already started trying to uh, find uh, people to cross their picket line to perform work. Uh, they've, you know, people have flown in from the United States to do our work over at Medieval Times right now. Um, Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment is bringing in their own crew to do the Argo game tomorrow uh, instead of using the IATC crew that they're supposed to be using. So they might try. I, you know, I would hope that the people in the non-union uh, environment in this industry would not would respect our picket lines and not cross them. But uh, that that's the situation that we're in right now. When do you think you might be able to sit down here? I mean, obviously, I don't want to get ahead of where the negotiations are here, Justin, but I'm just curious, is there any hope of sitting down sometime soon, maybe coming up with an agreement? I would say if the city was interested in actually bargaining uh, on the other issues that were on the table, uh, not the ones that we've told them flat out from the beginning that we weren't be willing to discuss, uh, but that we would be willing to help them find efficiencies, uh, that we would be willing to sit down at the table again with them tomorrow. 
Well, we'll see what happens, Justin. And in the meantime, we do appreciate you coming on. Thanks so much for this. Thank you very much for having me.